Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of linear equations in one variable, we will be starting with brain teasers. First question that is solve the following equations. So let's start. The question is solve the following equations. So I have taken four parts which are very important from the brain teasers and uh, we have to solve these equations. So basically we have to find the value of the variable which is used like in the first question it is Z variable in the second question it is P variable and third question it is X and fourth also it is X variable used. So let us start solving these equations one by one. Now let us take a first question 3 by 7 Z minus half upon Z minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 14 is equal to 1 by 7. Now let us start solving it by taking LCM 7 and 2 the LCM is 14 3 will be multiplied to 2 1 will be multiplied to 7 we shall get 6 Z minus 7 upon 14 further in the denominator we have Z minus 1 by 4 so we can take 4 as the LCM Z will be multiplied to 4 so 4 Z minus 1 minus 3 by 14 as it is equal to 1 by 7. Now we have to solve this fraction divided by fraction as I have already explained in my previous videos also. Whenever we have two fractions or rational numbers A by B upon C by D we actually solve them by multiplying by the reciprocal. Right. So same thing I have done over here. So uh, what I have done over here is 6Z minus 7 upon 14 into 4 by 4z minus 1. I have taken the reciprocal of 4z minus 1. Now minus 3 by 14 has come on the right hand side. It has become plus 3 by 14 plus 1 by 7. Now we shall simplify 14 and 4. So we shall get 2 upon 7. And further in bracket we have 6z minus 7 and 4z minus 1 equal to let us take LCM of 14 and 7 that is 14. 3 multiplied by 1 and 1 multiplied by 2 we shall get 3 plus 2 now that is 5 by 14 and on the left hand side let us open the bracket and solve 2 into 6 z is 12 z 2 into minus 7 is minus 14 so 12 z minus 14 7 into 4 z is 28 z and 7 into minus 7 sorry minus 1 is minus 7 so we have got 28 z minus 7 now we shall cross multiply Yes, so 14 in bracket 12z minus 14 is equal to 5 in bracket 28z minus 7. Now open the brackets 14 into 12z, 14 into minus 14, we shall get 168z minus 196. 5 into 28z and 5 into minus 7, we shall get 140z minus 35. Now take the like terms together. So 168z minus 140z. 140z will come on the left hand side. It will become positive. And similarly, minus 196, we shall take on the right hand side. It will also become positive. So plus 196 minus 35. Now 168z minus 140z is 28z equal to 161 because 196 minus 35 is 161. Now Z is 161 divided by 28 which is equal to 23 by 4. We can simplify by dividing by 7 right and we got the value of Z that is 23 by 4 right. Now let us take up second question P minus 2 by 5 upon P plus 2 by 5 is equal to 5. Now 5 is the LCM in both numerator as well as denominator. So we shall get 5p minus 2 upon 5 upon 5p plus 2 upon 5 equal to 5. Now we have fraction divided by fraction. That means to solve it we will multiply by its reciprocal. So we shall cancel out 5 and 5 and we shall get 5p minus 2 upon 5p plus 2 is equal to 5 by 1 because 5 can be written as 5 by 1. Now this is the equation which we need to solve by cross multiplication. So 1 in bracket 5p minus 2 is equal to 5 in bracket 5p plus 2. Now anything multiplied by 1 is the number itself. So we shall get 5p minus 2 and 5 into 5p and 5 into 2 we will get 25p plus 10. Now take the like terms together. So minus 2 minus 10 we have taken plus 10 
on the left hand side it has become minus 10 similarly we shall take 5p on the other side it will become minus 5p so 25p minus 5p now minus 2 minus 10 is minus 12 25p minus 5 is 20p so value of p is 12 minus 12 upon 20 which is equal to minus 3 by 5 so we can divide it by 4 and we shall get minus 3 by 5 as the value of p right now let us take up third question it is very important question because often children make mistakes while solving it so listen to it very carefully try to understand it so let's start we have x plus 1 into 4x minus 3 minus 4x square plus 5 upon 4x plus 1 equal to 2 now first of all we will solve these two brackets that is binomial into binomial and find its product and then we will simplify so first of all x will be multiplied to 4x minus 3 plus 1 in bracket 4x minus 3 minus 4x square plus 5 as it is upon 4x plus 1 equal to 2 now open the bracket so x into 4x then x into minus 3 we will get 4x square minus 3x 1 into 4x and 1 into minus 3 we shall get 4x minus 3 minus 4x square plus 5 as it is 4x plus 1 equal to 2 now while simplifying you can see 4x square will come as it is now minus 3x and plus 4x is we will get 4x and minus 3 as it is minus 4x square and plus 5 as it is divided by 4x plus 1 equal to 2 now over here if you observe 4x square and 4x square will get cancelled we are left with x and plus 2 because minus 3 and plus 5 we will get plus 2 in the denominator we already have 4x plus 1 and 2 can be written as 2 divided by 1 now it's a equation which we need to solve by cross multiplication so 1 into x plus 2 is equal to 2 into 4x plus 1 now simplify the brackets so anything multiplied by 1 is number itself so x plus 2 2 into 4x and 2 into 1 we shall get 8x plus 2 now take the like terms together so 2 minus 2 is equal to 8x minus x so x has come over here it has become minus x 2 has gone over here it has become minus 2 right now 2 minus 2 is 0 8x minus x is 7x so x is equal to 0 by 7 which is equal to 0 so value of x has come 0 right hope you have understood now let us take a fourth question x square minus x plus 2 into x minus 2 upon x plus 3 is equal to half now this is again very important question and often children make mistake because of this minus sign right so whenever we are simplifying these binomial into binomial and finding its product always remember to keep the minus sign outside the bracket right so we shall start by solving binomial into binomial that is x into x minus 2 and plus 2 into x minus 2 so we shall write x square minus in bracket x into x minus 2 plus 2 x minus 2 upon x plus 3 is equal to half now further we shall write x square minus outside now simplify the brackets x into x x into minus 2 so we shall get x square minus 2x 2 into x that is 2x and 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 or everything will come in bracket because outside it is minus sign right and here the children make mistakes if you don't put the bracket you will get wrong answer right now further minus 2x and plus 2x will stand cancel again x square minus outside x square minus 4 upon x plus 3 is equal to half again the bracket should be there and with the minus sign outside now we shall open the bracket and change the signs so x square minus x square plus 4 now minus 4 will become plus 4 now x square and uh, minus x square will stand cancel so we shall get 4 upon x plus 3 is equal to half now cross multiply so 4 into 2 
is equal to x plus 3 because anything multiplied to 1 is number itself. Now x is equal to 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5. So value of x has come 5. Only thing you have to remember over here is uh, minus has to be kept outside the bracket and once you solve the bracket then you have to open the bracket and change the signs of all the terms which are inside the bracket. This is very very important point to note over here. Right? I hope you have understood this question. With this we come to end of this video. If you have any doubt in any question you can always ask in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day ahead.